Wireless carriers are preparing to roll out 5G technology this week, despite concerns from aviation and transportation officials that it could disrupt aircraft. The rollout had already been delayed by a month. The Transportation Department and the Federal Aviation Administration wanted it delayed longer. But the CEOs of Verizon and AT&T are refusing. They are instead considering measures to limit 5G service around certain airports. The trade group Airlines for America has since filed an emergency petition. It claims 5G would, quote, disrupt as many as 345,000 passenger flights, impacting 32 million travelers, in addition to 5,400 cargo flights each year. Well, that's all well and good and very suspect, seeing as how everywhere else around the world, China, Europe, everywhere, they're seeming to be able to roll out their 5G with no aviation issues whatsoever. So why the United States? Why certain airports? Well, do you ever think maybe they need certain airports open to certain security measures so that they can bring in certain types of flight travel? You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling you, the United States is destined for a rebellion and it's not going to be pretty. AI is the most powerful technology force of our time. 5G networks deliver low latency and ultra reliable, secure mobile connectivity and can support many more connections. Together, they fuel critical enterprise projects from precision robots to video analytics to automated vehicles and beyond. And now the NVIDIA AI on 5G platform is introducing a new paradigm to enterprise AI. It brings AI and 5G together on one converged GPU accelerated system, making it possible for enterprise to deploy AI applications over their own 5G private network to power connected intelligence at the edge. Let's take a look at three building blocks of the NVIDIA AI on 5G platform. First is the range of 5G connected devices that can be supported by the platform, including cameras, sensors, robots, and automated guided vehicles. Second is the radio unit, the transmitter receiver that enables 5G connected devices to talk to the AI on 5G unit through a front hall connection. Finally, the AI on 5G hardware and software stack is where the magic happens, is where the magic happens, is where the magic happens. This has to be a mistake. This 1100 hours, all primary military systems were secure. They were, only the civilian sector was affected. Internet, air traffic, power plants, that sort of thing. But then a few minutes ago, we got word that guidance computers at Vandenberg crashed. We thought it was a communications error, but now it looks like the virus. Early warning in Alaska's down. What? Signals from half our satellites are scrambled beyond recognition. What about the missile silos, the subs? We've lost contact. We all know, but still pay insufficient attention to the frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack, which would bring to a complete halt to the power supply, transportation, hospital services, our society as a whole. The COVID-19 crisis would be seen in this respect as a small disturbance in comparison to a major cyber attack. Dear God, you're saying this country is completely open to attack. Theoretically, we could be under attack already. Who's doing this? Foreign power or some computer hacker in his garage? We can't trace the virus. We can't pin it down. It's like nothing that we've ever seen before. It keeps growing and changing, and like it has a mind of its own. This can't be happening. Oh, it can be happening there, General, and it is. These AI, as they call them, are nothing more than spirits of rebellion, spirits of antichrist, and they are giving this information and technology to men who love their lives more than they love God. And this is what is coming into play. This omnipresent system, the beast system, is being put in place and in fact is in place. You need a savior, not just from this world, but from the sin that's in this world that is in you if you have not been reborn, regenerated, baptized in the spirit of the living God by Jesus Christ. It's not water or wisdom that makes you clean in the eyes of God, but the atoning blood.
of Jesus Christ. Understand that it's here, okay? I'm not a preacher. I'm not a teacher. I'm just here to warn you. God bless y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 